Hi guys! Welcome to X Visionary. My name is Teacher Ray and welcome back to our lesson. In today's lesson, we will be talking about income statement. This lesson is intended to my students, especially students in my CSS 12, Eli National High School students na nag-study or nag-training sa Vincent for the past four weeks. So, they were left behind sa lesson. So, this is for you guys. So, I hope uh, you are going to make sure na nakatuto kayo sa video na ito kasi hindi natin kayang mag-discuss sa classroom, lalo lang ngayon na we only have limited time schedules for our lesson. So, without further ado, let's proceed to our lesson. So, as you can see on the screen right now, it is shown on the web page na akong ginama. Okay? So, usually, this is also what you can see on your phone when you are in our classroom because we adapted um, digital classroom. Right? So, the first thing you can see on the screen is the title, which is... Income Statement Template. Income Statement Template. So, since this is just a template, so sample lang ang... Lahat ng nakikita dito. So, uh, sometimes Tagalog, sometimes Bisaya, sometimes English. Pero uh, I'll try my best to speak in English and Tagalog para lahat ng mga estudyante na nasa Philippines will also learn this lesson. Kasi this lesson is intended for entrepreneurship students across the Philippines. Okay. So, ayun. Income Statement Template is actually Module 8 of entrepreneurship so there are eight modules in entrepreneurship and the last module is um, about income statement okay prior to forecasting so hindi kayo pwedeng magpo forecast kung hindi nyo alam muna yung pinaka foundation which is the income statement so parts of this income format is commonly used by I, table with 26 rows and four row two income statement Ang pinakauna is row three for the month of XXX, row, row the title company. of the, the income statement, which is of course the name of the company. Nasa center yan, sa itaas. Row Tapos, two income statement. Kung anong klaseng document ito. So as financial report, isa sa mga financial reports, dapat isulat yung klaseng report. So dito, uh, ang isusulat natin, Income statement. Kasi income statement report ito. Tapos, Row 3 for the month of XXXX. Period. Covered. So, for the month of, for the month of XXXX. Kasi, depende sa month na uh, kung kailan nyo gina, gina, uh, ginawa tong income statement. By the way, income statement is a periodic report. So, end of the month talaga ito ginagawa. Sometimes, quarter. Sometimes, Half of the month, sometimes end of the year. Pero for now, para mas um, basic yung ating mapag-aralan, we have to uh, focus on the monthly income statement. Ang ibig sabihin, lahat ng mga expenses is covered in the, from the first day to the end of the, uh, of the month. So for example, January, so January 1st to January 31st. Okay, row next. 4, column 1, column 2, column 3, column 4. Row 5, column 1, sales. Ang pinakauna, of course, to consider is sales. So, let's consider that ABC company is a manufacturing company or a reseller. So, ang ibig sabihin, nagbebenta siya ng goods. Okay? Uh, hindi siya nagpo-provide ng service. If nagpo-provide siya ng service, pero minimal lang yung income or revenue or collections of money from service income. Mas malaki yung kanyang benefit from sales. Sales is the account name for um, a company that is selling goods. Ibig sabihin, ang binibenta niya, goods, hindi service. Okay. So, ang pinakaibabaw is sales. Ito yung lahat, kabuang sales for the entire month. Okay. For example, for the month of May. So, lahat ng sales, ito total yan. That will be called sales. And then... Column 2, column 3. Column 4, XXXX. Row 6, column 1, less. Less. Column 2, returns and allowances. Re sales, returns, and allowances. Yung sales, returns, and allowances are uh, accounts which are 
uh, sorry, the total returns. Kasi minsan, yung customer unsatisfied or maybe the product is damaged. So, kailangan din naman meron tayong allowance to accept mga returns. So, dyan yan pupunta. So, the total amount will be uh, reflected on this account. So, dyan siya makikita. Tapos, meron pang isa. Column 3 XXXX. Column 4. Row 7, column 1. Column 2 sales discounts. Sales discounts. So, ito naman yung um, amount in favor to our customers. Ito yung binibigay natin sa customers dahil sa kanilang loyalty or maybe dahil may competition na very tight. So, kailangan natin magbigay ng discounts. So, sales discounts are deduct deductions from our sales. Okay? Next. So, yung dalawa na yan, yung sales returns and allowances and sales discounts are two allowable deductions from sales. Pag yung dalawa na yan, nadideduct na natin. Natanggal na natin sa sales. Ang tawag doon is net sales. Net sales. Net sales na ang tawag doon. So, kasi yung sales yung nasa taas is actually gross sales. Total sales pa lang yun. Tapos, uh, less allowable deductions, yung sales returns and allowances, at saka yung sales discount. Ang answer is net sales. Para makuha naman natin yung profit, yung net sales, kailangan may tanggalin tayo dyan. Kasi yung net sales, ano pa lang yan eh, costs plus markup, yun, times the number of units sold minus the discount minus the returns. Tama? So, ang kailangan, tanggalin natin yung cost. Kasi yung cost, puhunan, is hindi pa yan pera. Okay. Ginastos pa natin yan during sa paggawa, paggawa, sa paggawa, sa paggawa ng item na ito, na, uh, na mga item na ito na bininta natin. Okay. So, since we are a manufacturing company, there are costs that is underlying each of the product. So, kailangan tanggalin natin para makuha natin yung gross profit. So, net sales less gross cost of goods sold. Cost of sales or cost of goods sold. Magkapariha lang yan. So, ang answer column is... Two, column, column 4, row 9, column 1 less. Column 2, cost of goods sold. Okay. Column 3. Column 4, row 10, column 1, gross profit. Gross profit. Ang answer niyan is gross profit. So, ito na yung gross profit. Ang, kung, kung isipin, wow, malaki na to kasi gross profit. Pero hindi pa pala dyan nagtatapos ang pag... Uh, uh, if you talk about profit, kasi marami pa tayong i-consider. Yung kanina, yung returns, yung discount, at saka yung cost of goods sold, paggawa pa lang yun ng product, pagbenta pa lang yun ng product, hindi pa natin consider yung mga operating expenses. Kaya, kailangan nating i-total muna lahat ng operating expenses from salaries down to miscellaneous. If you notice, meron siyang sequence of accounts. Sa operating expenses, nagsisimula siya sa pinakataas, salaries, column two, column tapos pababa, promotions, bonuses, maintenance, utilities, hanggang uh, miscellaneous expense. Ang arrangement nito ay nakabase sa laki or sa bigat ng gastusin. So, salaries, usually, ang pinakamalaking gastusin, kaya siya ang siya nasa, nasa itaas ng listahan ng mga operating expenses. So, balit, dahil medyo maliit lang ang gastos ng mga miscellaneous expenses tulad ng sabon sa CR, panglinis sa CR, or ano, pa air freshener sa office. So, maliliit lang nagastusin yon. So, ilalagay natin yon sa miscellaneous expense. So, kaya ang miscellaneous expense ay nasa baba. So, total of the operating expenses Ang tawag nun, gross operating expenses. Okay. Tapos, kasi ang pinag-uusapan natin dito, income statement, sana yung income statement dito? Siyempre, 
kailangan natin i-less yung op gross operating expense from gross profit. Ang answer naman nun is tinatawag na gross operating margin. Teka lang baba tayo. Column, row 11, co column 2, promotion Z. Co co column 4, row 18, co column 2, column 3, column 4, row 19, co column 2, column 3, column 4. Row 20, column 1, column 2, column 3, column 4, XXXX. Row 21, column 1, three, column 3, column 4. Row 22, column 1, column 2, interest income. Okay, column lang. 1. Lumampas ako. Row 21, column 3, column 4. Column 1 through 2, add slash less other. Row 20, column 4, XXXX. Column 2, column 3, column 1, row 19, column 4. Row 20, column 1, gross operating margin. Gross operating margin. Ang tawag ng gross profit less gross operating expense. So, yung answer niyan is gross operating margin. So, hindi pa rin yun yung income talaga kasi meron pa tayong iba pang i-consider. As a business entity, meron tayong responsibility to, to our government. Kasi naka, nakatira tayo sa Pilipinas, so kailangan magbayad tayo ng tax. So, tax expense yun. So, hindi yun kasama sa operating expense, though periodic yung pagbayad, pero hindi siya natin pwedeng isama sa operating expense. Kasi hindi naman siya kasama dun sa ginastos natin upang mag-operate yung company. Mag-ooperate o hindi, babayaran talaga si tax. So, kaya si separate siya. Okay, yung iba naman, yung meron tayong pera na inutang sa mga, sa ibang company, sa bank. Kasi gusto natin mas malaki yung puhunan natin, so utang tayo. Meron tayong interest expense. So, hindi rin yun kasama sa operation kasi hindi naman natin ginamit lahat ng pera sa operation. Part lang ng pera. So, yung interest expense lang ang pwede natin ilagay. Meron namang interest income. For example, kung tayo ay nagpapautang kahit konti lang ng pera sa ibang tao, hindi naman siya kasama talaga sa ating operation or normal operation kasi yung operation natin is manufacturing company. Pero since meron din tayong pinahiram ng pera o meron tayong interest from banks na natatanggap. So, it's considered interest income. Okay. Uh, meron din tayong service income na kasama din doon. So, unusual transaction for a manufacturing company na magkaroon ng service income, pero minsan, meron. Lalong-lalo na pag mix ang company. So, meron siyang nagre-resale siya ng mga products like for example um, repairs and maintenance yung kanyang company. Meron siyang mga um, anong tawag dito? Spare parts na binibenta so considered as sales. Yung kanilang servisyo sa pag-repair yun yung service income. So pwede nga sama natin dito sa baba. Okay. Pero depende yon sa pag-consider ng company kung saan siya ilalagay sa income statement. Napaos na. Okay. So, so usually, nasa baba talaga siya, separate talaga siya. Just like in our template. So, sa nakikita yung template, yan talaga yon. Okay. So, yung gross operating margin, add less, depende sa sobra ng interest expense at charges. Kung positive, addition to our profit. Kapag negative naman, deduction to our gross, mar gross margin. So, yung uh, difference ng additional expenses and interest income magiging net profit or net loss. Net profit kung positive yung answer. Net loss kung negative yung answer. So, Positive result, income. Negative result, loss. Okay, <laughs> wag naman sana. But because um, uh, pag nag study ka ng entrepreneurship, one of our goal, main goal is to really gain something. So kaya nga, nag study tayo nito para net profit talaga yung result ng income statement. Okay, pero kung net loss naman, isa yung ano, babala na baka meron tayong hindi nagawa, lalo na na baka sobra-sobra yung operating expenses natin, hindi kinaya ng ating sales na ma-cover up lahat ng expenses. Kaya dahan-dahan sa gastos. So yun din yung ano, 
yung yung dapat tingnan. So, uh, wrap up lang. Okay, from sales, nakikita nyo dito yung yung less. Yung less are allowable deductions. Yung di discounts at saka returns. Yung answer niyan is net sales. Baba tayo. Less cost of goods sold para makuha yung gross profit. Less total operating expenses. Yung operating expenses, naka ano yan, sunod-sunod based on the weight or sa bigat ng account. Tapos yung answer is gross operating margin. Less additional or deductible uh, interests after yung mga interest na hindi kasama sa operation, ang answer niya is net income if positive yung result, net loss pag negative yung result. Okay, so you can use Microsoft Excel. Tanggalin nyo lang yung XX dyan, tapos lagyan nyo ng formula para automatic. Or pwede gamitin yung word, pero I really advise na sa Excel gawin to kasi may computation. Every time mayroong computations or mga formulas involved, dapat ang gamitin is Excel para mas madali. Automatic lang yung uh, results kasi given na yung mga formulas. So for formulas, uh, mag-PM lang kayo sa akin para mabigyan ko kayo ng idea kung paano gawin. Pero dito naman, madali lang ito. Sum at saka did uh, minus lang ito plus minus lang dito so to total yung mga nakalinya okay naka nakahilera in one column tapos deduction kapag meron siyang nakasabing less yun tapos kapag naka double rule ang ibig sabihin wala nang uh, uh, hindi na pwedeng gambalain yung number na yan kasi tapos na siya Okay, pero pag single rule pa lang yun o single line, ang nakikita, ang ibig sabihin, meron pa siyang ah, kailangan i-compute sa huli para makompleto yung transaction. So, that's it for this video. If you have any question, try to comment below and don't forget to like, subscribe para masundan yung iba pa mga videos. Okay, so to my CSS students and all other students, na hindi pa naka, naka, naintindihan yung income statement template na binigay ko sa inyo, um, don't hesitate to ask questions. PM me if you have uh, anything na hindi klaro. Okay? So that's it for this video. Bye-bye.